As a country, we've now been dealing with COVID for two years, Dan. Way 31's Megan Reyna spoke with an infectious disease specialist here in Huntsville who says there's no clear end in sight. And we're here today to give a briefing to the public regarding the novel uh, coronavirus that has recently been identified in Washington State resident. Two years ago, the first U.S. coronavirus case was reported in Washington State. This was just two weeks after it was first identified in China. Two years later, we are still amid a deadly pandemic, one that's claimed the lives of more than 16,000 Alabamians. It's really been tough. It's been really difficult. For Huntsville Hospital infectious disease specialist Dr. Ali Hassoun, he thought at one point we'd be able to get the virus under control rather quickly. That's not the case anymore. What we've seen, unfortunately, even though our country is the best country in science and advancement and research and stuff, our public health structure is not great. Hassoun believes politics may have affected the messaging coming from medical leaders and organizations. But he stands by the messages he shared with us over the past two years. Social distance, wear a mask, and get vaccinated. People um, had let their guard down. Still, doctors like Hassoun are feeling frustrated. Madison County, along with every other county in Alabama, is currently at a high level of community transmission. They don't uh, wear masks. They go out, out in gathering. The schools is open even though there's 42 to 44 percent positivity rate. There is no mask mandate. He says what has been difficult, especially this past year, are the severe infections that could have been avoided. Very hard that you see patient that you can treat and you probably able to save or they might have been able to save themselves by simple vaccination and they didn't do it and they died. Hassoun couldn't give an answer on when he thought the pandemic would end. He says many things have to happen in order to get the virus under control, but he's hopeful the community will do its part. Megan Reyna, Way 31 News.